Hey everyone, are you looking to gain more topspin on your forehand? Are you tired of hitting flat balls that could be going out? Well, stick around today because I've got two great tips to help you gain more topspin on that forehand. Today I'm going to use my Topspin Pro to help us with our two ways to get more topspin on your forehand. Number one, when we talk about how to get more topspin on the ball is you really need to have that C-shaped swing, that high, low, high swing. And too often when I see recreational players, the two things I see is a straight back take back or a racket drop take back. The problem with that is is that the racket has to stop and then come forward. So you're losing a lot of momentum, right? You gotta go here, stop, and then use your body heavily, your arm heavily to get that racket back going. What the racket face does when we have, or the racket head, when we start high and turn high on our unit turn, is allows us for one really continuous motion all the way through the ball right, so we can handle pace from our opponents. But the big thing is, is the gravity assisted uh, speed that we get from keeping that racket high. So when you film yourself, you're gonna go film yourself from the side and from the back. You're gonna start in your ready position and you're gonna turn and I want you to high five. My camera's sideways, it's on my right side here. So you're gonna high five. Yeah, you can bring your arm way back like this. I find that really uncomfortable for me, but you can see I'm still getting a nice shoulder turn when I'm high-fiving both sides. So you're going to start with your racket head up, and when you turn, the racket head is up, your two-headed monster, so when you go to the drop and you come forward low or high, low, high, you've got that nice C-shaped swing in which you need in order to get topspin, high, low, high. Whether you're, you're having a forehand low and you're coming up and coming back through to get topspin, you need to have that, that high, low, high swing in order to get it, okay? So that's number one. Keep that racket head up. You think two-headed monster on the unit turn is my racket high. Let's go ahead and take a look at number two, or the second way we can get you more topspin on that forehand. The second thing I want you to think about to gain more topspin on your forehand is when you go for checkpoint number three, when the racket drops. Now, when the racket drops, we want our racket strings to be closed at the lowest point when we're coming forward. And here's what I mean by that. When we look at example or part one of this, step one, two-headed monster. Step number three in that checkpoint, right? So checkpoint one. Checkpoint two, do I have my two-headed monster to get that gravity-assisted uh, racket speed? Step three, I'm gonna three-point land. Turn, racket jobs, knee bend, foot steps out. Boom, here, when I'm at my lowest point, see how my strings are closed right here? That's what we need. Too often we find people on edge, and what happens is they come through, the racket face is open. So if I'm on edge here, and I come through, my racket face is open, I can try to get topspin, but the ball is gonna sail out. So when you practice this, you need this to be a progression. You need to do 10 to 20 of these. Turn and hold, high five, there's number one. Turn and hold, and then when you get into that second part, that racket drop, that checkpoint three, one, two, three, you wanna look, hey, is that close? Videotape it. Depending on your grip, it's gonna be more closed. And what that does, as you come forward, that high, low, high here, when I get to the back of the ball, that racket face is vertical. Some pros are a little closed because they have intense racket speed and they can do that. But when I am completely vertical, I am behind that ball. I am behind that ball and I can grip and get that top spin, right? That's the key. And so when you're out here and you want to gain massive topspin or just more topspin, we want you to first look at keeping that racket head up, two-headed monster, right? Practice, I want you to do 10 of these. Hold on your, on your toes. I'm on the balls of my feet for 10. And then here, down and hold, and then you can come up and swing and finish that swing. I can see, look at my strings, they're pointed down, come up, and I'm getting top spin, and you can see that ball spinning. This device is great because it gives immediate feedback, right? Your forehand 
is not just one thing. It's not just boom. It's a two part thing. The first movement, then the swing, right? Make sure that finishes up over your head, over your shoulder, rack it on edge here. And after I do that piecemeal, you can see I'm kind of here, 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 a little bit disjointed. Once you do those two progressions, one at a time. Here, there's for 10, hold your balance. Two, right? So you can go here, then swing. Once you practice that, then try the whole motion. Then try the whole motion where you're here and it's just, okay, and I'm hitting my, I'm being very deliberate here, practicing a little bit slower than maybe I would in a match, but I'm practicing. Getting that top spin. So there you have it. Two ways you can get more top spin on your forehand. Number one, keep that racket head up on the unit turn. Two-headed monster gives you great gravity-assisted racket speed. Number two, and the, the phase on the checkpoint three, racket drop. When the racket drops, we want our strings pointed down, palm pointed down. What that does is on contact, make sure our racket face is vertical so we can get behind the ball and get that top spin. So if you have any questions or comments, please share them below. What did you like about the video? What didn't you like about the video? What do you want me to improve on? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this on social media, help grow our channel. This is Nick from Matchpoint Tennis, and we'll see you next time.